sharing values across borders. Uh, the book was written with uh, Eric uh, Erin Green at the occasion of the 20th uh, anniversary of Global Six. Warm congratulations uh, on writing the book. It represents uh, some of uh, a legacy of 20 years, 20 years of sharing value. Um, what positive, um, what traces have you left in two decades? What uh, positive impact have you been created by Globetic? First of all, thank you very much for uh, this opportunity. And uh, it's really a great opportunity to celebrate 20 years, knowing that 20 years is a short time in humanity, but a uh, substantial time in our lifetime. And uh, I think it's, uh, I'm very humbled to say that uh, I think we could reach something. Now the question of what is what we hear here and experience here, people who have the conviction that we want to be values driven, values should guide us and not only money, not only power, not only whatever, uh, addiction. Uh, so, uh, and, and it's amazing. I think the, the biggest impact I see is amazing how people are thirsting for that and coming together like here. Mm -hmm. Your your book is structured around eight values. Um, each one is the title of a chapter, names uh, justice, peace, dignity, inclusiveness, quality, sustainability, integrity, and responsibility. Uh, which one do you see as the most important for our current society and why? I think it's... a. Uh already mentioned by the panelists, uh, even the first panel and then the second panel, we are in a polarized world, we are in a dangerous world, we are in a shaky world, vulnerable world. And uh, uh, so inclusivity or what is in this title, sharing, sharing values, that was from the very beginning, from day one. And we have people here like Nikos, who was with the guitar, who was in the founding workshop. You have been a student or doctor student at that time, now a professor. So these young people and older people who said, we want to share our values. We want to be one humanity. And uh, <clears throat> so inclusivity, I think, is, is the big word. Now, that does not mean that we should not exclude the evil, so to say, or those who are destroying inclusivity. We cannot be kind to everybody. That's why also courage was mentioned this afternoon. Courage is a big uh, value also, or virtue in my system, a virtue, which we, we uh, are together and we are more now than ever uh, more than 20 years ago, asked to be courageous because of these uh, threats that we have. But the amazing thing is, as I said, in the, in, in this, the, the values that were expressed this afternoon are the values that we had 20 years ago in our discussions here in Geneva when we founded it. So there is a continuity, a thirst to be human, to be truthful, to be uh, committed to be community oriented and that shows also how these values are interrelated that's why it's not easy to say one value above the others mm -hmm. it's that they belong together no peace without justice no uh, sustainability without participation so that's the the system of uh, a systemic approach of values Globetix has um, a global network in Africa, in Asia, in Latin America, uh, all over the world. Where are you seeing the, the country's strongest uh, growth? Maybe the strongest growth is where people like you are. <laughs> so we are not just in a dictator saying from Geneva where the growth should be. It's led by you by your initiative that is sharing and that is participation but of course we need in the board and we have the board meeting this week we need also um, strategic decisions uh, so 
Asia is certainly representing, I mean, in terms of number, two thirds of humanity is certainly an, a dynamic and an important continent. But then Africa, uh, South America as well. My concern is, and, and that is a, a real concern related to the this uh, uh, polarization that we should not forget those areas where it is difficult to reach out. I mean, Alex Agev is our director in Global Ethics Russia. He wanted to come, no chance to get an, a, visa. a visa. That does not mean that we now say, oh, don't touch uh, Russia. Russia is not the untouchable caste now. We have to reach out to those who want to cooperate. So how to reach out to these uh, crossing borders, uh, that is then the strategic thinking that we in the board need. Mm -hmm. Professor Christopher Stockelberger, it's the hand of your mandate uh, of as a founding president of uh, Globethics. Congratulations on all your efforts, uh, all your dedication for a better world. Big applause, I think. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, these books, Sharing Values Across Borders, I think we have the QR yeah, on yeah. the screen. You can have it. Uh, the book is available uh, online, of, uh, free download, and is sold uh, in hard copy at the publication stand, I think, outside of this uh, room. Huh? That's all right. Thank you very much. Thank you. And uh, now it's the hand of the first part, um, the global... May, the... may I add one, yeah, one sure, sentence? Sure, uh, sure. I think what is very important when you mention uh, 20 years uh, and uh, the end of the mandate as a director, uh, as a president, uh, I think <clears throat> one of my key conviction since the beginning, since day one is that Globe Ethics is a community and it's there may be a founder but the founder is and of course i i'm, I'm happy that uh, we could serve 20 years but uh, it is not a stuckelberg foundation and i say that because it is important to have globe ethics net not centered around the personality and this is also i say it with our modesty our swiss uh, maybe our swiss culture you know, in the American system, for example, you always put the name on the foundation, the Rockefeller Foundation, the Ford Foundation, and so on. Um, and that was a question. Why don't you call it Christoph Foundation or something, you know? No, it's not about me. It's about our mission. So that's why the topic, the goal is in the name and not the founder. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for this word. And for... All, all your work and don't forget the book the 2024 global ethics uh, forum is now officially open 16 session of high level through leadership discussion will follow during three days in addition to the celebration of the 20th anniversary of global ethics and now uh, a group photo will be taken uh, then we invite you to the reception and to enjoy the 20th anniversary photo exhibition outside of this room. And um, the following session uh, starts sharp at five o'clock. Thank you very much to the audience and enjoy the reception. Thank you. <laughs>